the brutal way that Abe was killed, it has left a deep emotional scar on the Japanese public um, at a time when they are preparing for the elections on Sunday. Uh, the elections will be held and it will be a matter of, uh, of utmost priority for Japan to ensure that the elections move forward uh, safely. It has become this moment of unity and solidarity in Japan. Um, it is bringing voters, uh, citizens really together to remember the legacy of Abe. And I also believe that it will motivate a lot of people to actually go to the polls, um, really out of a demonstration of respect for what Abe has been doing and had been doing until the moment he was shot. Abe was Japan's longest serving prime minister. And through that, uh, he actually became a global statesman. He had a vision for Japan that was not necessarily shared by all, but it was certainly a forceful one. And it looked to exert Japan's influence and values both um, within and outside of its own borders. Abe was instrumental in coming up with a vision about an Indo-Pacific, an uh, Indo-Pacific that would be based on a free, uh, fair um, international liberal order in which uh, both Japan and the United States would play a key role in pushing back against actors, that is to say China most notably, uh, who were threatening to destabilize the institutions and the values that have been at the bedrock of regional growth since the end of World War II.